Today we are going to discuss one more other part in our lesson. Means in the previous chapter we discussed about the reflection of light. I think it, it completed. Then uh, next chapter also completed. Alpana Madam taught about that. Then today we are going to discuss about a new topic which is respiration in organic. What is our lesson in respiration? Respiration in organisms. See here, I want to give you a brief information about respiration in organisms. Respiration in organisms. Look here. What is respiration? What is cell? What is organ? What is organ system? And what is organ? We want to know here. Then we go with that uh, type, types of uh, respiration. And whatever uh, given in our textbook, one by one, let us do. We can discuss. So first let us know what is cell, what is organ, what is organ system and what is organ. See here, all the living beings are made up of cells. I am going to give you brief information. Listen carefully. Cell is a basic unit of life. All the living beings are made up of cells. A group of cell with a similar function is known as tissue. Tissue. Cell forms tissues. The group of the tissues forms organ. A part. Organ means a part in the living being. Organs. All the organs working together. Organ system. Organ, organ system. So organ system means it is inside the organism. What is organism here? Organism is a living being. Organism is a living being. See cells, group of the cells of tissue. Group of the cells means uh, some of the cells forms as a group that have the similar function. Only one function works by that all the cells that is called tissue so that tissues forms organ one particular part organ formation occur. like that all the organs working together that is called organ system all the organ system we can see in the organism means in the living being organ systems working together so in that one of the system we are going to discuss that is respiration what is that respiration so respiration respiratory system we are going to discuss you know all the living beings respiratory system is there there are different types of respiratory systems are there based on the different organisms the mode of respiration is different in different organisms so to occur respiration different types of organisms they use different type of organ for that process so that we are going to discuss in this uh, chapter. So first here, one of the example is given there. What is what is our example here? Uh, sometimes uh, we we may in fasting. So how far we can live without taking food? One day, two day, three day, four day. Based on our physical fitness, we can survive without taking food also some days. So we can take water at least at that time. So what about air? Can we live without taking air a single minute? So one or two minutes we can survive. If we stop our uh, breathing, intake of air, long time we will die. So without air taking we cannot survive. So that's what here, what is the question? What is breathing? There is a question given in our textbook. What is breathing? What is 
breathing so it is a question here i am asking you a question what is breathing in the second paragraph if you see that the the process by which air goes in and out of our body is called breathing so the process what is the process in that process air goes inside and comes outside in and out going inside and coming outside the process by which air goes in and come out that process is called respiration in our body there is a particular process in that process air enter into our body air comes outside from our body so that process we call as a respiration without respiration any living being cannot survive respiration is a major process so that we are going to discuss in this chapter without taking food without taking water we can survive one day two day three days or one hour two hour like that but without taking air after two to three minutes we cannot survive so respiration should occur continuously in our body all living beings not only in our body but also all in living beings then only that organism can survive so this is the process this is known as respiration so here i am going to give introduction later on we will discuss with the textbook there are different types of respirations we are going to discuss the first one diffusion diffusion we can see diffusion in amoeba so amoeba is a unicellular it lives in a drainage water or some marine water or in the aquatic organism so if you see that from the surroundings from the surrounding water it absorbs oxygen dissolve oxygen dissolve oxygen it absorbs from the surrounding water into cytoplasm this is the cytoplasm of the amoeba cell so it diffuses out to carbon dioxide so this process is called diffusion air take inside the cytoplasm from the surroundings which is oxygen and carbon dioxide send out from the cytoplasm into surrounding so this is known as diffusion process next we are discussing about the gill respiration or bronchial respiration gill or bronchial bronchial respiration this is another type of respiration in the fishes if you observe the fish here gills are there here gills are there so it is also aquatic organism it lives inside the water it lives inside the water what happened here dissolve oxygen so when the fish moves forward dissolve oxygen which is inside the water dissolve the oxygen entered into the mouth and it comes outside from the gills so here gas exchange takes place oxygen absorbs by the blood vessels which are connected to the gills and carbon dioxide sending out from the gills with the help of gills respiration occur in fishes so such a respiration is called gill respiration or bronchial respiration or bronchial already wrote here so gill respiration or bronchial respiration in which organ can we see this one gill or bronchial respiration we can see in fishes so this is the second type of respiration now we are going to discuss about third type of respiration that is tracheal tracheal respiration tracheal respiration this is tracheal respiration what is tracheal respiration tube like structures helps uh, respiration for the organisms for example here if you see the cockroach if you see the cockroach this is cockroach if you see the cockroach so body 
cite 10 pains of Sparakis, which is we are going to discuss in detail in this chapter. So here tube-like structures. These are the tube-like structures connected to each and every sparachin. Okay. So these tube-like structures we can see in these organelles. Sparachins, which we call as sparachins. So with the help of these tube-like structures, respiration occurs. So I mean, sorry, in cockroach, a body cavity, side body cavity, spherakins are there. Spherakins which we call as stigmata also. Stigmata. Spherakins are stigmata. With the help of this, spherakins are stigmata. The air entered into, I will show with the red color, atmospheric air. Air entered into the cell body. So O2 is there in this, oxygen is there. And oxygen entered into each and every cell of the body through these tube-like structures. So that cells absorb oxygen and they release carbon dioxide outside. O2 entered and carbon dioxide outside. So with the help of this stigmata, through the tube-like structures, air reaches to each and every cell of the cockroach and it comes outside as the same way. So this type of the tube-like structures helps in this organelles in this organisms. So these tube-like structures help for them for the respiration. Such a respiration is called tracheal respiration. Tracheal tube-like structures. Tracheal respiration. Next one we are going to discuss about cutaneous respiration. The fourth one. Cutaneous respiration. Cutaneous respiration. So, here body surface, by using the body surface, they respire. Here, by using the gills, they respire. With the help of gills, respiration occur. In which organs gills helps for their respiration, such a respiration is called gill respiration or branchial respiration. In which organ in Tube-like structures help for their respiration. Such a respiration is called a tracheal respiration. So here, in which organ in skin help for their respiration? Such a respiration is called cutaneous respiration. So skin is the respiratory organ. Tube-like structures are the respiratory organs for them. And gills are the respiratory organs for these organisms. Body surface is the respiratory organ. So in earthworm, I am going to show here earthworm. This is earthworm. On the earthworm, segments are there. Okay. So here on the earthworm, segments are there. So a skin helps for the respiration. What happened here? Skin is richly supplied with the blood vessels. With the skin, number of the blood vessels are there. Inside the skin, blood vessels are connected. When it is contact with the air, atmospheric air, the body contact with, in this O2, so in the atmospheric air, O2 is there, oxygen is there. That oxygen dissolves in the, upon the moist condition of our, always wet in condition, the skin of the earthworm. So in this, Oxygen is all that oxygen absorbed by the blood vessels and it comes to each and every cell of the earthworm. So with the help of the skin, oxygen receives and it gives to each and every cell. So skin is the respiratory organ. So such a respiration is called a cutaneous respiration. Such a respiration is called a cutaneous respiration. So last one we are going to discuss. So the last type of respiration is pulmonary respiration. So pulmonary, pulmonary respiration. This is the last one. Is it appearing or not? Pulmonary respiration. Our respiration type is known as pulmonary respiration. 
why our respiration is called pulmonary respiration pul the board belongs to lungs the organ in which they use the lungs for their respiration such a respiration is called pulmonary respiration so whatever the organ in they respire with the lungs if if the organ in respire with their lungs such a respiration is called pulmonary respiration so we are almost all the mammals terrestrial organs they use their lungs for their respiration such a respiration is called pulmonary respiration so these are the five days of respirations we are going to discuss in this chapter one by one activity so first you have to understand what is diffusion by using the body surface oxygen entered into the cytoplasm and carbon dioxide sent out so this is called diffusion what is gill respiration the organ in which they use their gills for their respiration so fishes they use their gills for respiration inside the fishes we can see gill respiration or branchial respiration next tracheal respiration in which organ is tube like structures help for their respiration or the organ in which it, which has the tube like structures for their respiration so such a respiration is called tracheal respiration in cockroaches we can observe tracheal respiration tube like structures present with the help of the tube like structures they respire so that is called tracheal respiration next cutaneous respiration the organ in which they use their skin for their respiration with the help of the skin respiration occur we can see such a respiration in earthworms as well as frogs frog use their skin for respiration earthworm also use their skin for respiration so that respiration is known as a cutaneous respiration skin is a respiratory organ the last one which we are discussing about us we have lungs with the help of lungs we respire our respiration type is called as pulmonary respiration pulmonary respiration this is only introduction of this chapter then tomorrow and day after tomorrow we are going to finish all the topics within two days so let us do 1 2 3 4 5 6 how many are there up to 6 8 here there in our textbook so tomorrow is 4 and day after tomorrow 4 we can close 4 4 within the two days this chapter you have to read this lesson today i gave only one question that is what is breathing in our textbook uh, second paragraph first to second line is there breathing abbreviation you can write that answer and uh, how many days of respirations are there what are those by watching this video you can write the five names or uh, five types of respirations in the organisms so one by one detail we will discuss in the next two sessions